Okay, so we are going to the garrison. But we're going to go around a beltway, apparently. Instead of the straight way. Okay, Hermos. I'm surprised you have the courage to show your face here. A lot of people here had friends in Ember. If they find out who you are... Well, it's a little late for that, because I kind of killed your guard, so... Uh, let's see. Anyone who interferes with me will is going to regret it. We already know that. I respond for what happens, and I'm here to clear my name. Eh, let's go middle ground, because... He started off being arrogant, so we're not going to give any grounds on that. You're free to conduct your business here, but you'll be watched. If you have questions, ask them now. I'm a busy man. Okay. Falgor said there's someone staying here. Survivor of Ember. Uh, what do you know about the Black Garrus? A Luskan Archmage of some power. Not someone you want to cross. Like many of the Arcane Brotherhood, Black Garius aspires to rule, regardless of what harm it may cause. I think you will find that attitude common among most of the Host Tower, and Garius in particular. What worries me is that he may succeed. Why do you say that? Well, I, because he's conducting business with the Shadow Priests. He's amassing power at a pace I dislike. I suspect his brothers are beginning to grow wary of him. And what makes you think so? Followers flock to his side like vultures to a battlefield. Two in particular keep me awake at night. And which two are those? The woman Torio Claven and that giant Lorne. Ah, and so the pretty little circle reveals itself. Torio you might know as Luskin's ambassador to Neverwinter. A treacherous snake, that one. The other one, Lorne, lacks Torio's guile, but compensates for it with brute force. He's a savage fighter and extremely good with a blade. I suspect he handles most of Garius's dirty work. Okay, well, at least we know that the person who's accusing us has some ulterior motives. Not that that's any surprise. Let's see, um... I'm that. no common First... magistrate with idle time to chatter about village life. I'll be happy to discuss the finer points of Port Last with you when you're no longer a suspected mass murderer. Okay, that that's fair enough. Uh, do I worry you? Uh, yeah. No, I have more important things to worry about. Okay, good to know. So what happens in Innocent Ember? Innocent slaughtered. The village burned to the ground. All done by you. My only regret is that Ember falls under Luskin jurisdiction, not mine. Well, that wasn't me. So why are you so certain it was me? There was a witness to the attack. You were described in great detail. I would like to speak to this witness. Out of the question. She's been through enough. And besides, you won't like what she has to say. Well... That's why I'm here. I need to speak with all witnesses, no matter what they say about me. Very well. You may question the witness, but you shall do it in my presence. Not a problem. Bring the girl here. Yes, Captain. Chandra? Chandra, is that you? Elaine, you survived. Thank the gods. Chandra! It was horrible. They butchered everyone. Elaine, it's all right. Shh. Look, I brought people to help. We'll get to the bottom of this. You! Chandra, it's... it's him! Why would you bring him here? Uh, lies. Uh, I'm not responsible for what happened at Ember. I am responsible for many things, but Ember is not one of them. I saw you murder those people. No, Elaine, it's not true. I know what I saw. They had no weapons. Some even surrendered, but he... he... Uh, let's see, we're here to help you, not to harm you. Uh, okay, no, we're going. We're not doing that because that will get everyone mad, and we need to talk to her, so that's out of the options. 
That's right, Elaine. We're here to help, all right? It was trade season, and the shipments into Ember had fallen off. I had decided to trade along the south roads. When I came back to Ember, I heard the screams and saw the smoke. I left my wagon and went into town. That's when I saw the bodies. I saw him kill the quartermaster while he was on his knees, begging for his life. Nope. You saw this man here do the killing blow? And was it just him? And where did he... Sand! We don't have all year, girl. Nor do I have the patience when the trail of these killers grows colder. There were others, but I didn't see them closely. I ran as hard as I could to Port Last... And they took me in. But you did do it. Or someone that looked the part. There are many magics that can cloak one's appearance. Even allow one to change shape. I know what I saw. Okay. Good point there, Sand. Um, let's see. Who else was there besides me? Were any of my companions there? Well, let's try this first. No. And nothing you say will convince me otherwise. Well, fine. You had about a dozen of your friends with you. But I don't recognize anyone with you now. A dozen, you say? Interesting. Do go on. Yeah, because I can only have five companions, so I couldn't have a dozen. So you are lying! Did you see a dwarf, a gnome, a demon half-girl? Well, no. I believe they were all human. Well, considering that those two and the gnome account for at least half of us, that might seed some doubt. Whoa! Maybe my demonic heritage will actually help us get out of this. But you could have just hired others. Yes, my dear. But as your hesitation suggests, why would anyone do that when they have trusted allies who would follow one anywhere, despite their common sense? Uh, no offense. Yeah. Okay, so, let's see. How did you manage to get away if you... if you got close enough to identify me? Yeah. I don't know. I just started running. I guess they didn't notice me. You were lucky, hmm? Or perhaps they let you escape. Uh, okay, so I think that's all we're going to get there. I'm sorry to have put you through this, Elaine. Guard, please see that she reaches her quarters safely. Listen to me. If we can get her to work for us, her story of tears will sway the court in our favor. Elaine's not some tool, Sand. She's just survived the massacre of her town, which someone caused to get to us. Girl, if we do not use your friend, the Luskins will, and they will use her testimony to kill our friend here. So, please dispense with your convenient morality. Either we use her, or they do. Let's see, uh... We're going to use her because I do not take kindly to people lying about me killing people. Uh, she's been through that and I don't want to make her a target. Let's go. Still have more. If we can find a way to use her, I will. If she dies as a result, so be it. No, we'll go the middle ground because I will use her, but I'm not going to do it if it kills her. I'm still good. Uh, let's go. We have more to investigate. And I don't think you have anything else to say. What brings you before me? Tell me about that. Uh, th th yeah, no. Okay, wait, well, is Luskin a threat to you, isn't it? Of course. The Luskins would lay claim to our harbor for their warships. Having secured such a prominent location, they could mount a swift attack on Neverwinter. Or Waterdeep, for that matter. They talk of a peaceful coexistence, but I know their words to be false. Luskin's difficulties with Ruithim may have come at a fortunate time. As long as Luskin is at war with their island neighbor, they cannot turn their attention elsewhere. Good to know. That, and we all know that they only are at peace because it gives them time to rebuild. So, I think we're going to get all we can from here. Although, let's just make sure because... Let's see. I don't think we learned anything more to counteract the town drunk. But let's just see if these guys have anything to say. Uh, no, just show me your wares. 
Okay, let's see if he knows anything. Haven't heard much more than the rumors, though. That idiot Elgin claims to have been there. Even fought the attackers, he says. Pah! So I... He do doubt his story. Man can't handle a butter knife, much less a stout blade. Took pity and tried to teach him a few tricks, but he was hopeless. We should bring this little fact to Elgin's attention. We need to take some of his wind, some of the wind out of his tail, and quickly. Okay, so we got that. Anyone else that we can talk to? Ah, too little. Actually, before we talk to the gnomes, let's see if you have anything to say. Nope, just want to sell me the stuff. Oh, the almighty Windersnavin. The Windersnavin, yes. Who or the Windersnavin? The Windersnavin sees all, but none can see them. I see, yes, they see. Yes, but who are the Windersnavins? The Windersnavins know all, but none see them. Yes, none know, but we know, yes, no. Oh. You are both are clearly insane. And I don't think you are listening to me. This is like Eldion in choir. It's making my head hurt. These chattering madlings is something I would... Like to say to subject Grabnar to, if only to make him understand what it's like to listen to him. Oh, the wonder snapping is this gonna be the same thing? Yes. Sounds like they're talking nonsense, but there's a strange rhythm to it. This chattling madness is something okay, yeah, listen to. So I don't think we're gonna get anything out of these guys. Okay, so let's co-confront the drunk. Although there was nothing over here at the port, was there? Eh, let's just take a quick look if we can get over there. Just to be thorough. Citizen, citizen. No one over there. Dock worker. Do you have anything to say about the tragedy at Ember? Nope, you do not. Okay, so to the end then. Oops, no, don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you, Elgin. Well, I have some other evidence that shows that you aren't really who you say well you, you are who you say you are but you're a bit of a liar about the whole ember thing uh let's see yeah i forgot that did give us something talk to helja he said you can barely handle a blade yet you managed to kill many of these attackers what he's wrong i didn't need his training i learned to fight somewhere else now if you'll excuse me I've also spoken to the survivor. I hear there was only about a dozen attackers at Ember, and no one mentioned anything about demons. A survivor? Well, er, um, that's... that's good news! With all the smoke, I'm sure I could have been mistaken. Tricks on the eyes and all that. <laughs> Look, it's obvious you know I wasn't there. What do you want from me? Why did you say you were there? Free ale and the attention of women. Of course. You think someone like me could get them that otherwise? No. No, I don't. Okay, so tell me what actually happens. Okay, actually, well, let's do that. I hid there was a dryad. Oh, okay, so that's why you were in the dusk woods. You were trying to woo a dryad. So I figured, well, you know, how dryads are with men. I mean... Oh, gods, how predictable. Yes, I agree, Shonda. I think Dryad Legends do more to get men lost in the woods than the Dryads themselves. I didn't get too far in before the wolves chased me away, so I decided to stop in Ember for a while. 
Then I saw the smoke, remember, so I didn't dare head that way, but by the time I got back to Port Last, people were already talking about the massacre. No one around here seems to know what really happened, so I figured I might as well embellish my involvement. No one got hurt, right? You know, just by spreading that story, don't mind lies, except when those lies can be used against me. Let's see, and lies serve no one something... Yeah, we'll go that, because we're not going to be goody-two-shoes either. Oh, please, all the harm's already been done. Everyone thinks you're a witness. Ember, there's attackers here about you. Uh, the murderers are still loose and you're a witness. Do you understand now? Eh, we're not going to scare them too much. Oh no, I didn't even consider that. Um, everyone, I have an announcement. That should keep his mouth closed. We didn't need him uh, speaking any more of those wild tales before the trial. Well done. Let's move on. Okay, so I think we are going to either Ember or... Maybe we will go to that cave first. Let's see. That will just go this way then. Onwards to more investigation. Something about this forest. I can't hear the trees. Their voices are strange. There's something wrong with them. It's some kind of poison running through their roots. Feeling odd, a little sluggish. Yes, the poison. It's like a brightness seeping from the ground into their into their branches. Uh, maybe we can get to the source of the poison and try to heal this place. That is my wish, too. I'm glad we share the same feelings on this. I feel I must warn you, the trees of dusk were to act as a damper on magical energy. My considerable talents may be reduced while I'm here. Thanks for the warning. Uh, it's time don't stop and bore me. Uh, what do we want to say? We will have to adjust our tactics. Pleasure to help. To be honest, this little jaunt is turning out far more interesting than I'd hoped. I might even thank Neville if this keeps up. But enough. Let's be silent. The duskwood awaits. Well, I'm guessing that's going to lead up to the cave. Ancient tree, and yeah, and that's the cave up there. Well, let's go to the cave first, I guess. Well, what's that? So, uh, spell failure. So, I'm going to be pretty much useless here, it looks like. And we got dire wolves. Great. Well, let's see how much of a spell failure I'm going to get. Well, that's... Obviously a lot. Now I kind of wish I had that shield I got. Or I saw. Come on, attack. Go over here and attack. Why am I on parry mode? I don't want to be on parry mode. There we go. That could have gone a little better if I wasn't oblivious to the fact that I was parrying everything, which, hey, at least I didn't get hit, but... Let's see what's in this cave. Let's see what's over here. A whole lot of nothing. Uh, 
And more direwolves. Yep, more spell failure. Chandra, why are you walking? I need you to be in front. Unless, are you encumbered? You're encumbered. Why are you encumbered? Something you want? Really? You're encumbered because I gave you those potions? Uh, let's just give that to Sand. There we go. Yes. And you know what? I have this cup here that I'm never using, so let's use it. It's rechargeable, isn't it? Oh, no, it only has... Okay, no, it has two uses per day. One more. Yes. There we go. What about the rest of your spells? And, oh yeah, I forgot, I can't really use them, so... Yes. Good thing I bought those potions. Which has, you know, I don't even need that open. Can I... Do I have anything that will give me more defense? Can I use that shield, I wonder? Really? Well, if Sand can't use it, I probably can't use it. So, can I use... I will lead now. Follow. Okay, I have those guys, so let's maybe use some of my items instead. Any more direwolves gonna come? Yep. Uh, let's use that on you. Come on. Uh, Nishka's out. Okay, um, what do we got? Let's use this Wand of Lesser Summoning. Or not, because reasons. Come on. Of you. Come on. I really brought the wrong team for this. And you're down. Come on, guys, get up. You have need of me. Let's take a rest. Well, at least we're almost to the cave. Ha! Ah. Who are you two? Look, Mira, visitors! What are gnomes doing in Duskwood? Uh, it looks not only to be woods have an infestation of gnomes, but they also seem to have gathered quite an impressive array of insects. Who are you? I'm Mira, and this is my sister, Jillia. We travel here from Lantern beyond the Sea of Swords, Traveled here and, and, decided to stay. Why would you leave your homes? Oh, we were far too tidy for Lantern. It's a very messy place. We had boxes and boxes of insects sorted by class and tied up with string. And the others were forever getting 
into our things, moving them about, reclassifying them, and writing us silly notes. Love notes and always, always to Julia. But Lenten is very far away, very, very far away, and now we must never go back, could we, Miria? Why not? We never quite fit in. Not anymore. This is our place, and we're happy enough. We have each other, at least, don't we, Julia? Yes, just so. Uh, did you happen to see what happened to Ember? Ember, isn't that the human village, Julia? The one we visited last ten day? Just so, Miria. And we got all that wonderful mutton, remember? Ember's been destroyed. Do you know anything about it? Destroyed? No. We hardly ever come out of the woods. Our work keeps us busy. They used to tell us on Lantern that the whole island could sink into the sea before we'd notice. There go. Mirin Julia, after insects again. Think of it, Julia. Ember in ruins. There must be bodies everywhere. Undead sheep and people both. We should go and pay our respects, don't you think? Uh, okay, are you, how do you avoid the wolves? Wolves are no trouble, are they, Julia? No trouble. Besides, we're very small and hardly a threat. Perhaps they've grown fond of us. Uh, let's see. You found this cave abandoned? Strange, that. You should ask. When we first arrived, we found a woman living here, didn't we, Mira? Just so, she entrusted this place to us, and said, then she went away. She said that her family had gone or been killed, and she was off into the wilds to build a new clan. I wonder if that's a werewolf, because they mentioned that there was a werewolf problem back then. That might have been the leader of the werewolf clan? That's odd. Was she a dryad or a druid by any chance? I don't think there was one tending the Duskwoods. Uh, okay, what? I think we already did that. Uh, insects, of course. The spiny hornfly, the yellow-tipped weevil. The Duskwoods have them in abundance, and in so many new varieties that we've never seen before. So you collect insects. Just so, we've made a study of them. The twenty variations of hornfly, all manners of weevils and grubs. Not only that, we've discovered four new aphids just here in the Duskwood. It's far more interesting than Lantern ever was. We catch them and sketch them and then name them and box them up. Trim and tidy. Clean and neat. Everything is placed just so. Well, do you mind if I look around? We'd rather you didn't, to tell the truth. We like to keep everything just so. Our boxes and our specimens and the insects, of course. Wouldn't do to go trampling them underfoot. Yes, Julia, better that they leave soon. The Duskwood isn't kind to strangers. Well, that's kind of ominous. Just the same, I think I'm going to have to look for myself in that cave. Yeah. Don't turn into werewolves. I'm not going to touch your specimens, though. What do we got? Eh, it's just an easy cave. What? Oh, wolves. Summon them there. Come on, attack. Uh, there we go. What do we got? Direwolf Tooth. And so far, not much else is in this cave. Oh. Um. Alchemist fired. Not much, but it's something. Um, let's see, this is... Let's summon another guy. Um, do I have my crossbow with me? Great time not to have my crossbow. Yeah, I don't. This one, 
Uh, what the hell just hit me? Okay, let's try that again. This time I'm going to get my crossbow. Um, let's see, what can we replace? Oh no, I already have them in there, never mind. Drink! Uh, who has my crossbow? Yes. Yes. You don't? I am listening. Yeah, that person of wisdom, Luckstone. Okay, um... Ah, oh, there it is. I cannot travel. Yes. I know, I know. I can't travel alone because I'm encumbered. Uh, let's give you that, you that, and you can have those. It's a darn bag there. See what else we can do to lighten this. You can have that one. Is there any other ones I can't use? Get rid of all those priest ones. Actually, were those. Yes. You can't use those either. I just might have to sell those. Yes. Yes. Um, there's my jerky. Well, maybe we can just put some stuff in the bag. Put the alcohol. Necklace. Um, let's put all the gems in there. And that, and what do these guys weigh? Eh, three pounds. Let's put the silver shards. Just not going to need them right now. And not going to really need that. What else can we put more silver shard? There we go, that should do it. And... There's a dead person. Poor corpse must be Brandberry. Looks there. You can tell by the hair, yeah. We didn't want to do this. We never wanted to. Put the blood, the smell, it fills you up. Yep, you guys were werewolves. Yes, Julia, just so. Uh, you two are werewolves. How did this happen? A woman was living here when we first came from Lantia. She welcomed us, took us in, instead, uh, listened while we talked of hornflies and weevils. In the night, she fell on us. She bit us, both of us. But not deep enough to kill. She wanted to make more of her kind. She said she was the last, the last of the Duskwood pack. They'd hunted and slain all the rest. Where is she now? Gone far away. Maybe dead, we don't know. We try to stay away from folks, we truly do. We hunt animals, and when we can't catch any, we eat our specimens. We gorge on beetles and grubs. But when meat wanders into our lair, then the scent fills us up and there's not we can do. The blood flowing warm between our teeth, the taste of soft, yielding flesh, just so... So means you're going to attack me. Um, great. Sand, uh, I'm sorry, you're probably going to die. I am your death. 
And let's get another creature up while we can. Kind of wish I had a silver animal. Not a silver animal, a uh, silver, uh, what's it called? Uh, silver weapons right now. Um, do I got anything I can use here? Well, let's throw an acid flask then. Come on. Oh, uh, Julia is still there, but I guess the other one's down. Just like sand. Um, Let us press the make attack. sure you take that. No, stay here. Let's see if we can get a spell up. Come on. Nope. Okay, uh... Need to get these direwolves down. not going to work, so let's see. You need to take one of your potions here. Put those in the taskbar. And Nishka... Hells, hells, hells. You it's take right. one. Let us press the attack. And you take one. Let's see. And then I'm going to attack this guy. Come on, don't die on me. Okay, Julia's almost down. If we can get Julia down, then I think we can deal with the rest of the wolves. Okay, Julia's down. I'm taking a penalty firing into combat. Come on. By the shadows of Another heal. Let's get them. Press the attack quickly. Give me a moment. Come on, we almost got him. And we got him now. Okay, I don't think you had anything. Sorry about that sand, but couldn't be helped. Yeah, so you don't have anything. Julia, what did you have? Insect collection. Okay, I don't know why I'd want that, but I'll take it. And I want to get Amulet of the Heart of the Harpers. So if she was a harper then, maybe. Semi Secret Society of the Harpers pretty good. Spell immunity, magic missiles. That is actually really good. Harper agents neutral. Only used by good neutral. I think you have to be a harper agent. Um aren't you a harper? Yes. No. Okay. Can't use it, but maybe it can be used for something else. Yes. And I bet you it's just another dire wolf tooth. Yep, five more. All this. Into the bag. Oops. This. And insect collection can go in the bag too. 
as well as uh, is there anything else? Jerky, you're going in the bag. And the healing kits. Okay, well that's one mystery solved. They knew nothing about Ember. But now let's see if we can see what's going on with the Great Tree.